LSU offensive line anchored by junior Lloyd Cushenberry and senior Damian Lewis, coached by James Craig, been named the winner of the 2009 Joe Moore Award, most outstanding offensive line unit in college football, the organization announced on Thursday. LSU is the second team from the SEC to win that award since its inception in 2015. The Joe Moore Trophy is crafted by award-winning sports sculptor Jerry McKenna. It's the largest trophy in college football, standing at seven feet tall and over 800 pounds. It's got to be the largest trophy in the world, right? You saw it, huh? Yeah, I did see it. It's absurd. Go on... <clears throat> or should hit the cough button. <laughs> yeah, you should have. It's all right. <laughs> Go on Twitter uh, to the Joe Moore Award or, or whoever Cole Kublik is just like bodying people in the replies <laughs> of all these like Auburn and Oregon and Kentucky fans. I never knew Oregon had such a good O-line until I read the Twitter mentions. Do we know that LSU's offensive line was awesome or is it Burrow just like makes every pass rusher miss? So they were pretty doesn't... good. They are way better than they were a year ago, huh? No, they were. I mean, it was a huge question entering the year and they haven't been an issue this year, but I just, I just see Burrow dodging pass rushers every time they come through. So, and Clyde makes a lot of people miss, too. So, Shout out to the offensive line. They win the Joe Moore Award. LSU had four players named to the Football Writers Association of America All-American team. Joe Burrow was the first team. Jamar Chase, first team. Lloyd Cushenberry, second team. Derek Stingley Jr., second team as well. I, I kind of You could have seen that coming a little bit for Chase, certainly Stingley. Obviously, we can talk about Burrow anytime, but I think Lloyd Cushenberry has been kind of a breakout guy for this team. Oh, there's no doubt. I mean, he's been he's been an anchor. He's been unbelievable. School board for Athens High School, Burroughs High School alma mater, unanimously approved naming the school's football stadium in Joe Burroughs' honor at a meeting on Thursday. Starting next season, the Athens Bulldogs will play at R. Basil Rudder Field at Joe Burroughs Stadium. How awesome it's, is that? This has been crazy. Unbelievable. Like, you could not have Hunt seen... Palmer Field and yeah, Shreveport. That's, that's I'm waiting coming. on it, Loyola. That's coming real fast. I'm going to name that baseball diamond after me. You hit, like, 315 with no homers. You get... You get that stadium name for you in a hurry. LSU basketball Tigers headed out to L.A. They will take on USC Saturday at 8 o'clock Central in the second half of the Basketball Hall of Fame doubleheader. Game will be televised on FS1, broadcast on the LSU Sports Radio Network. You got some basketball takes here? Or are you just going to go down the line? You did say you'd be drinking tonight. So. <laughs> it's tomorrow. But yes, <laughs> okay, so I'll, tomorrow too. I'll right. probably be drinking both nights. It's Friday, so we'll, we'll do that. Um, Saints stuff. After missing practice on Wednesday, New Orleans Saints rookie safety C.J. Gardner-Johnson made a positive step forward. Recovering from a concussion, Gardner Johnson participated in a limited fashion in Saints practice Thursday, wearing a red no-contact uniform. Linebacker Kiko Alonzo, the quad, defensive back Patrick Robertson with a calf, and offensive lineman Andrews Pete. Forearm, Taron Armstead, ankle, and Ryan Ramchick, knee. It's three of a huge piece of that offensive line. They were all limited. Pete's missed the last five games with a broken arm, but he practiced in a cast. Saints take on the Titans this Sunday at noon in the Superdome, and Luke Johnson will hop aboard at 8.30 to talk about that. And we'll finish thing off. In T-Bob's honor, talking Pelicans, I don't know why this is on the list. Rivers, you should not have put this on there. With the Pelicans. To, oh, you have to put it on there. I feel bad, but I don't because I, I feel like the moment I stop putting it on there, they really will stop mattering. They're just awful. Pelicans continue road trip, and they hope to get their second win in a row tonight against the Warriors it's at 930. It's a good stat, Rivers, too. <laughs> Looking to get a second win in a row. <laughs> we win another one. That's called a winning streak. Those are your headlines here on Off the Bench.